Hello, and welcome to a review for the Mega Bloks Halo UNSC Cyclops Jungle Strike. This is a scout walker -y kind of thing, as you can see. Uh, there comes the pilot, of course. I think is based off Halo 5, uh, 4, not 5, 5 isn't out yet. Um, because this doesn't ring a bell, although it may have rung a bell and actually appeared in the other ones, and I just wasn't aware of it. Um, but yeah, I think it gives a very brief explanation there. Cyclops Jungle Strike is a multi-role exoskeleton equipped for military manoeuvres and tropical climates. Ready for close-range combat with its crushing gauntlets and devastating wrist-mounted pile driver, it can easily crush heavy vegetation, repair UNSC vehicles, and tear covered superstructures in half. Um, I mean, I'm not actually sure how how accurate that is, um, but yeah. Also, as you can see below, there are other uh, Cyclops. There's the snow one, the desert one, I don't know, a brown one, you know. Uh, also, it it boasts the uh, Mega Bloks camo effect, which is, I'm assuming, like one one brick or ever, but is painted in, you know, like throughout. There's not one universal colour for the brick. And this is a UNSC Marine. Marine Senior. Marine de Lunsk. UNSC, actually, that will make more sense. Um, right, well, there's not much more the packaging really tells us. There is a warning, choking hazard. I'm trying not to put this in my mouth. Uh, right, well, I'll go and unpackage and build it then. Uh, I may film the building process, depends how finicky it is, and be right back. Okay. I am back. Uh, I was going to film the building process, but it was a little finicky with all little sort of connecting tubes and stuff. But as you can see, it is complete. So this is the walker thingy, and uh, inside is the pilot guy, who is quite. Aha, there we are. Uh, right. First, we'll take a look at the pilot. He is, you know, in Spartan armor of some kind. Uh, I I have no idea. Whilst I like the Halo games and the universe is pretty cool, I do not know enough to tell you what kind of armour he is wearing. He also comes with a gun, uh, which obviously can be put in either of his hands and, yeah, you know, stuff like that. He also comes with a backpack, which uh, is easy to miss. It's just like an extra little bit in the bag of building stuff. Uh, you know, he's detailed enough, I think. Sort of don't really know what he's meant to look like, to be honest. Uh, I'm sure he's from Halo 4, but maybe he's not. And if he's not, in the comment section, let me know how much of an idiot I'm being. Uh, this is also obviously the scale of the other Mega Bloks Halo. Uh, minifigs because I bought this a while ago when it was on sale and he is another green man so I got two green people uh, they have the same gun coincidentally like I'm pretty sure is the exact same gun and obviously to the scale and so let's go on to the walker the main bit of this it is you know very dark green slightly confused the leg paint work here there's a sticker there when I was building, I was really confused because I couldn't find this bit because I was expecting to find something with yellow stripes like this, and it wasn't. It just wasn't like that. Arms are nice and poseable, as you can see. They're, you know, and sort of on a ball joint and stuff. Head thingy obviously comes off. There's a little seat in there, if you can see it. Uh, the back, there's some panelling that you have to add, but it looks really cool. It looks really industrial and stuff, which I really like. Shoulder pads and stuff, as I said, the hands, their claws, they could probably grip something, I think. I don't know, I haven't I haven't had much experience with the Mega Box. And obviously the arm, and then there's this pneumatic sort of thing. It doesn't actually do anything, obviously, but looks pretty cool. And sort of like a gun, because at the end there are two little barrel-y kind of things. Now the feet are really interesting. So you've got, obviously, knee joints. But, you've got these little feet things that are also poseable, so you can have it in sort of poses like this, in which its toes sort of come to balance things. Uh, see? So, it's actually really cool. The um, 
the attention to detail and stuff in this is actually really really good especially for a construction uh, figure and uh, much like a lot of the figures I review here, I got this for really cheap. This is like £3, I think, from Home Bargains, a shop I've mentioned many a time before because it's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, a vehicle to put some of your UNSC dudes in, then yeah, I highly recommend this. It's a solid little walker thing and to be honest, you know, you can you could display this as just a normal mech kind of thing, and it would still look pretty damn awesome. It, it doesn't actually look like it's from a particular thing, unless you know what thing it's from, which is true for almost everything, I think, really. So that was a bit of a moot point. But yeah, so I'm going to accompany this with like a couple of pictures I took just now. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.